It's terrible. You don't hear about deaths on 4th of July weekend or Labor Day weekend or Memorial weekend. It's G weekend. New at 6, the man charged with hitting a Galveston County Sheriff's deputy during Jeep weekend is sentenced to a year in county jail. Darius Gilbert is his name. He was charged and convicted of drinking and driving. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Daniela Guzman. This incident reignites conversations about what to do about the unsanctioned Jeep weekend and other events. The county judge said he has a plan once a new sheriff is elected, but as the current sh sheriff tells KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan, shutting down the beach is not an option. Hey, the current sheriff tells me shutting down the entirety of Crystal Beach for just one weekend is unrealistic, adding that what if they did shut it down for Jeep weekend? What's to prevent participants from coming the next weekend? Richard Knight moved to Galveston from Arkansas to be closer to his grandchildren. It was nice and quiet and peaceful. He settled on Bolivar Peninsula, but the peace he desperately seeks turns to chaos, he says, during Jeep weekend. And then this thing Jeep weekend weekend happens and so it gets absolutely crazy. Ahead of every summer, the long-standing unofficial events is constantly stymied with controversy. This year, one person was killed, another injured. Two years ago, a Galveston County sergeant was hit by a drunk driver. The driver, Darius Gilberts, sentenced. And we have a plan that we're not going to reveal right now about how to deal with that. I think that this is a viable plan. I think we'll be dry running it early next year. Um, it is our, our hope and our belief that we're going to be able to make it un, unattractive for these unsafe events to come back to Bolivar. Why is this something that hasn't happened sooner? Uh, I can't answer that. I don't have the authority to shut it down, but uh, someone in county government does and they have chosen not to so far. This is what the sheriff told me why he hasn't like pushed to do more. Yeah. He said, quote, it's not as easy as it sounds. Let's say I close the whole 30 miles of stretch of beach on that weekend. What happens when they come the next weekend? It's terrible. You don't hear about deaths on 4th of July weekend or Labor Day weekend or Memorial weekend. It's G weekend. Now, people just like Mr. Knight and others who live along Crystal Beach tell me that they would just like something to be done about Jeep weekend. This, as the county judge says, he hopes there isn't any more Jeep weekends moving forward. Reporting from Crystal Beach, Robon Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.